Hello. I'm hoping by now you would have had your breakfast and it's settled down in your stomach as I greet you in my sports bra. Um, there is method in this madness because um, we're looking today at Move With Ease um, to breathe into the sides of our body, not with force, with gentle ease. And um, we're gonna start with that breath work. We're then gonna look at doing a little bit of direct massage or across the rib cage. And we're gonna be adding some movement, some rotational movement with that as well. And we're also gonna be looking at an indirect myofascial release technique for the front of the chest. So if that all sounds awesome, um, I'll crack on with it. Um, so, what I want you to do first of all is just give yourself a gentle hug. So the hands will rest on the side of your body. You don't have to have skin to skin contact in, unless you choose to, but allow the hands to be soft. Allow the fingers, even though there, there's a wideness to your palm and hands, it's not stuck, it's not rigid. So there's a real softness, there's a gentle hold that you're offering to yourself. And even though I'm going to be talking and maybe not fully concentrating on my own embodied experience, I want you to. So I want you to sit in a comfortable position. If you're sitting in your chair, have the feet grounded. Feel as though that you've got a gentle upward lift from the crown of your head so that you're rooted in your seat and rising upwards to the heavens through your spine and the crown of your head. Like I've said, your hands rest gently to the sides of your body and come to focus on the palms that rest on the sides of your body. It might be that your hands feel cool or warm to the touch perhaps. Just feel their gentle contact. And as you place your attention into your palms, is there any movement there? I don't want you to exaggerate your breath at all. I just want you to feel the response of the rib cage as you softly breathe in and out of your nose. That's right. Doesn't it feel lovely just to sit here in quiet, gently holding yourself with your focus solely on one aspect of your body and your soft, gentle breath. If you've noticed that you're breathing through your mouth, then softly close your mouth. Let the breath just flow through your nose. Don't force the breath. There's just a gentle guiding of your breath to the sides of your ribs. So at no point do I want you to do this. or this, even worse. <gasps> Gentle, soft breathing. Listening to the body's response to your breath. And it might be that you notice one side is more responsive than the other. It might be because your hands have been resting on the side of your body there's a warmth generated from your hands. And it might be that you have felt a gentle softening of the tissue underneath your hands. You know how when you sit on a mattress or on a sofa and you stand up and you've got that impression of your bottom and the backs of your legs. Maybe you've got that sense that if you were to pull your hands off that there'd be impression of your hands in your skin. 
So now just gently, if you choose to, releasing your hands, let them rest on your lap. And I hope, if that's all you've got time for, that that is just awesome enough for you to go back into your day, maybe with a little bit of a quieter mind. But if you do have the time to stay with me, then we'll use our now warmed hands to do a indirect myofascial release technique. Indirect means that we wait and soften and follow the softening and the compression of the soft tissue of our body. We're going to be focusing on our chest and we'll just wait, just like we've done on the ribs, but the hands are gonna be closer together. And we're not gonna push, we're just gonna feel for the tissue under our, our hands to release. And it might be that we sink a little deeper. And when we've sunk a little deeper into our chest tissue, then we just put on a little stretch. So what you're not doing is this, there's just a little stretch. And then it might be that one of your hands wants to move a little bit. It might be that you just stay in that little stretch and know that that's fine. But we're learning to use our innate sense of the tissues releasing under our soft touch. So you do need skin to skin contact here. So hand either side of the chest. So you're on the, for those of you that you know really like your muscles, you're on your pectoralis major and the sternal, chondral sternal fascia underneath the pec major you've got the pec minor it's a pesky little thing associated with a thoracic outlet syndrome amongst other things um, but rest your hands on your chest and the fingers are soft the palms are soft and there literally is just a resting what you're not doing at any point is that you're really pressing back just don't do that just rest and this resting is just you sensing it's as though your brain is in your hands and you're just sensing for the tissue to release. And when you kind of feel as though there's some warmth, some softening, and this might take, you might not sense it at all, it might take seconds for you, it might take minutes for you, then you literally just put in a little stretch to the tissue. And again, it's not like a strong tug but you will feel just a little stretch sensation. And then I already feel my left hand wanting to just move up slightly. But keep that right hand softly stretching away from the left hand. And if you don't feel anything apart from the warmth of your hands on the skin that's on your chest, know that that in itself is just wonderful. Don't know about you, but just self-holding is just lovely. It's very nurturing, it's very calming. And just by having that soft compression and that stretch, we're opening up this tissue across the breastbone. It gets really, really stuck. It also holds not only stucky fascia, but also stuck emotions or trauma. It might be that it's stuck because you're, you have a desk job or you drive a lot. So the tissue that, that sits across the chest is more poured, it's more contracted. So this in itself is just lovely. If your hands feel as though they want to dance a little bit, the movement is slow and at no point are you, what you're not doing is gliding across your skin. It's a compression and a soft release. If you've got the time, stay with that for you know at least three minutes if you've got longer you know do that for five minutes um you might experience a when you take your hands off i've, I've taken my hands off quickly don't do that take your hands off your chest really slowly so there's actual a, a sense of that you're still feeling your skin even if you're a centimeter away still feeling your skin even though you're an inch away still feeling your skin even when you're a ruler length away that energetic connection. And something that's kind of more direct um, to again focusing with our breath is the intercostal muscles that are 
in between our ribs, kind of on top of, in between and underneath the ribs. Um, you know, tissue isn't just like a layered sandwich, it does all intermingle. Um, so I just want you to have a little feel for the lowest rib, so that we've got 12 ribs, or some of us are lucky, maybe we have a, another, an additional, additional rib one, but most of us have 12 ribs. And just kind of come into the middle and the bottom floating ribs, literally, you know, they kind of make a bit of a C shape. Just rest your fingertips on one side. And again, just like we've done with the breathing, with the hands on the chest, there's just a soft weighting and holding. And we're not stabbing at the tissue. There really is a light pressure to the tissue. And then when you kind of feel that, okay, I think I'm leaving a bit of an impression, not just on the skin, but on the deeper layers, then you'll start, you keep that compression, but just start to move your fingers through your tissue. So I'm gonna come up to stand so that you can see. So I'll come face on. My fingers are soft. There's that slow movement of the hand moving across the ribs. And then what you might want to do, and you're seated, so the hips are rooted, so this is just going to be a spinal rotation, is you might want to move your spine. So I'm moving my hands towards the left side and I'm rotating my spine towards the right side. So knowing I'll come to sitting, all my inflatable balls just, just rolled away. So just knowing, I'm moving my arm out of the way so that you can see them more clearly, that the ribs go all the way around the back attaching to the spine. But as long as it's comfortable, you can go as far as you want to. And before you move to the other side, just come up a little bit. So it might be that you're coming up under your breast, start from the middle, hold with your hand. So you're really holding and waiting. And we're all going to differ with that amount of time spent. Some of you might take seconds, some of you might take two minutes before you kind of go, Oh, okay, no, there's a softening. When there's a softening and your intention is deep, your intention is to get between, on top of the ribs and between the ribs. So it might be that you want to open your fingers slightly to get in between the ribs. And then you start to move your hand. You're not sliding across your skin. You've still got that depth of compression. And then you might want to put in that rotation. It might be that you want to come out of that rotation. Pause, come back in. If you're really clever and you want to link your breath, when you rotate, breathe in. There's an upward lift from the crown of the head. Derotate as you breathe out. The breath is still through the nose and the breath is super quiet. So you can do that all across the ribs, coming high up under the armpit if you want to. Make sure you do that to the other side, but you will of course be rotating away. I hope that you really enjoyed that session and know that you can replay the session at any time. It's on my Facebook page, my Instagram page, my YouTube channel. Um, so you, you, it's there for you to use at any time. So know that I'm a Jing Advanced Clinical Massage Therapist, specialising in myofascial techniques and chronic pain. I'm also a yoga teacher with a tra additional training and a real interest in fascial movement. Um, so I welcome you to my couch in Laddingford, Kent, and also to my classes in Paddockwood, Kent, or online so you can reach me anywhere in the world. Take care and namaste.